Hi guys, hey it's Greg Dolan here. Hope you're well. Um, say today I'm going to share another new idea I came up with. Um, I want to say first that um, on my YouTube channel I do share different new ideas and I that my mind does go there sometimes kind of thinking about better ways to do the same old things and I should caution that some of these ideas when I get a new idea I often am very quick to put it up on YouTube and when I put it up it's because it worked for me for a few days but it can happen that after I put it up it stops working um, some ideas keep working and some don't work as well over the long haul. So if you should watch one of my videos, keep that in mind. Now, they're all good ideas. I mean, even if they work for a few days, if you tried them and they worked for a few days for you, it's not like that's so bad. At least you got a few days out of them. But ideally, I'd like for all my ideas to be things that make things better for people their whole lives but I'm not sure all of mine do with that said I'm gonna I just took a shower and now I'm gonna shave in front of the camera and I'm gonna show you how I've been shaving for a few weeks now basically I'm I'm putting shaving cream on my lips as well as my facial hair and shaving it and I found that this makes my lips I think it either makes them bigger or it makes them feel bigger and to me that's good um, there's a whole thing right now where women want bigger lips and feel it makes them more attractive and I agree with that um, and I think it looks good on men too now I have I'm a white guy but I have been Oh, to some degree, I do follow black stuff like uh, African American and black and African and black people from all over the world. Black stuff and black ideas, black principles, black life hacks. So, is that my bias? I don't know, but I think big lips and of course black people generally have bigger lips and so. Is that a bias? Well, I don't know. I mean, if I like their ideas better, to me they probably look better too. But big lips just look kind of cool. They look sensual, fat, round. Anyway, I'm going to, and you, it's up to you to decide if you agree. But a lot of people do agree. And I think it's true for men that they, the big lips look good too. So I'm putting some shaving cream on my fingers. Now, I'm spreading it. Oh, and I kind of shave my nose nowadays too. Now, the fact is, from what I read on the internet, you have hair everywhere except your palms of your hands and the soles of your feet. Some of it's really fine hair. Now I put that only here. I haven't been shaving this so much because it's kind of hard with my hair. So I may shave it as we go without having put shaving cream first. Um, anyway, so actually when you shave these funny areas like lips and nose, technically there is hair there. It's probably microscopic. Or at least the internet says there's hair there. <laughs> Now, so now you see me, um, I'm shaving. For this video, I got a new razor because I wanted to make sure it would work. And that's kind of a nice little perk of making this video because a lot of times I'm using old razors. And I have a bowl here to the side. Now, 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 basically there I am shaving my lip the actual surface of the lip and I'm kind of getting inside the lip too I don't know if the definition is very good on this picture but 
I am going inside. Now, the picture just got darker here on the monitor. Okay, so I'm saying that look again. Now, I shave my tongue. I mean, I can go inside the mouth, too. Now, as I said earlier, I don't know if this makes really makes the lips bigger or if it just makes you feel like it, it does. I don't know if taking hair off your lips would make them feel bigger. It might, because you whoever saw you, they get a little clearer picture of your lips without the hair kind of obscuring them. And um, but I do know psychologically, for some reason, it makes your lips feel bigger. And really, that's probably what you care about the most, is feeling like you look cool. Um, let's see, how's that all feeling? Is that smooth, kind of? Another interesting thing, now I'm going a little further over. I'll just do that kind of rough. So this is not, of course, optimal. Um, get those lips again. Rinse out the shaver. Mm. Um, of course, you can tell me. You know, black people are popular, like rappers and stuff. Not just with other black people. Uh, so I'm probably doing this too much just to show you. Now, the fact people may wonder, am I getting a taste of soap in my mouth? The fact is, yes, I am. Does that bother me? The fact is, no. I'm going to give you a tip. If you do get the taste of soap in your mouth, don't panic and just like try to immediately swallow it down so you won't taste it or spit it out. Just let it sit there as you keep doing your thing. There's no rush to get that taste out. Your saliva is going to clear it off anyway eventually. If you just let it sit there, what's going to happen is that the saliva will kind of mix with it and slowly, slowly, you'll uh, Sorry, you can't see my hands. Slowly, you're going to uh, swallow a little bit of it down your throat. And when it's coming down in tiny bits, or at least I think most people swallow their saliva every so often like I do, when it's coming down in little bits, you can handle it. Yeah, it's bitter. It's a little bitter. But it's going to go away pretty soon. Actually, it's kind of nice. It's actually a little different taste a little a nice little variety from all these sweet savory tastes we eat every day although some people like bitter um, like mustard is a bitter taste for example um, anyway you can bear it it's I just don't know how to tell you that it's not that bad um, and of course as the day goes by you're gonna uh, it's gonna dissipate more and more go away I mean like when you eat for example that'll totally clear it out or drink but even just just living is gonna clear it out if it really bothers you spit it out uh, or go brush your teeth afterwards but it for me it's fine now I don't know if spitting it out might do away with some of the benefits because I've never done it it just doesn't bother me um, the other thing is once I shave my lips it's hard to explain but I found that I started doing other things that also made my lips feel better. When I shaved my lips, I kind of got this spontaneous feeling that if I stopped licking my lips so much, 
that would also help them feel or maybe actually be bigger. So now I almost never lip, lick my lips because I'm shaving my lips and that may, makes me, I don't know, somehow more sensitive to, well, it, I don't know how it works, but once I started shaving my lips, I also stopped licking them with kind of this gut feeling that that will also make them feel bigger or actually be bigger. And now even when I don't shave, I don't lick my lips and that helps me feel like they're bigger. And I may find some other things that help me feel like they're bigger. Actually, I probably start, started talking a little different. When you tune into your lips and seeing what you can do to make them feel bigger, you might find that you can sort of talk a little differently in a way that lets your lips kind of bulge. Um, I don't know if you know what I mean. That's a pretty um, precise kind of feeling that's a little hard to convey in words. It's, um, it's really tuning into your lips and how every action you do influences how your lips feel, including how you talk, what you say when you talk, and what and how or when you don't talk it's conceivable you I might make a decision not to talk to keep my lips feeling big whereas in the past I would have talked when I wasn't so tuned in so now I'm looking at my lips do they look big they're not terrible obviously they they're not the biggest on the planet but they certainly feel bigger to me than they did before I did all this. Um, and with them feeling bigger, actually that gives me a certain amount of confidence. Like I look a little better, like I'm a little more sensual. It actually makes me feel kind of more manly, a little more in control of my life. So this is really for both girls and guys. If you want, Give it a try. Shave your lips and see if it makes them feel bigger. And let me know how that goes. And thanks.